This rule often strikes students as unintuitive. It's an extremely important rule if you're going to proceed on in your mathematical career, which I fully realize most college algebra students are not going to do. However, even at this level, we will find applications of it. This rule that we are now going to state is for taking the logarithm of a product. And there's an obvious thing that you might expect to happen. And unfortunately, the obvious thing that you might expect to happen doesn't happen. Probably, if I asked you to guess what this rule is going to be, you would guess that the logarithm of a product should be the product of the logarithms. Is this true? Let's find out. The common logarithm of 2 times 5 is 1. The common logarithm of 2 times the common logarithm of 5 is not 1. So this rule seemed like a natural guess. Alas, it isn't true. The act Actual rule is a lot less intuitive the logarithm of a product. is the sum of the logarithms. Let's go back to our calculator. The logarithm of 2 plus the logarithm of 5 is the logarithm of 2 times 5. This is not as surprising as it might seem, because remember that um, statements about logarithms are really statements about exponentials. So 
what, where, what am I getting at with that? Well, if you have exponentials, and you're multiplying them together, that multiplication turns into addition. So since statements about logarithms are statements about exponentials, and we know that multiplication turns into addition when we have exponentials, it's maybe now less surprising that multiplication turns into addition when we have logarithms. This rule is most often used in reverse, as it were. That is the way we've stated this rule. We started with the logarithm of a product and then we broke that up as the sum of logarithms. In most applications, we're going to go the other way. We're going to take sums of logarithms and come Combine them. So, exercise. Rewrite the equation. the common logarithm of x plus the common logarithm of x minus 1 equals 12 so that It only involves a single logarithm. We are not. Actually, solve the equation at this point in time. We'll simply rewrite it so that instead of having two logarithms, we have one logarithm. And I mean, we're using this rule to do that. Instead of going from left to right, we go from right to left. So the logarithm sorry, the sum of two logarithms
is the logarithm of their product So we can consolidate the two logarithms we have here into a single logarithm. And that equation becomes the common logarithm of x times x minus 1 equals 12. And we are at this point not trying to actually solve this thing. It's enough for us that we have rewritten this equation.